Now brothers and sisters in Islam, if a person lives life with death in mind, meaning with the hereafter in mind, what will they ultimately be working for then? They will be working for something which is everlasting, not something which is temporary. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks of this world in a temporary language. He says, وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ And this world, this hayat dunya this life of this dunya, the life of this dunya, dunya comes from the root word dana'a or daniya, which means low life, not worth anything, insignificant. The life of this insignificant world is nothing but two things. Mata' and ghurur. Mata' means temporary enjoyment. Ghurur, deception. So the entertainment is temporary. And not only is it temporary, it's also deceiving. It's not even real. So you know when we hear it, when we talk about the hereafter, to us now it seems like a dream, a fantasy, something which is, uh, we don't get affected by it because it's not right now. But Allah is telling us it's actually the opposite. You're going to feel in the hereafter that this world that you actually saw as reality, this was the fantasy. This was the imaginary world. This was the thing which was, was just a, a dream. And truly, it will be like that. Allah says in the Quran that when the people are gathered on the day of judgment, before the judgment begins, the people, everyone, Muslim, non-Muslim, everyone, the prophets are among us, the shuhada are among us, the ulama are among us, the good and the bad, everybody. They will ask one question. Among the first questions that they will ask after مَنْ بَعَثَنَا مِنْ مَرْقَدِنَا هَذَا Who has brought us back to life after our slumber? The other question that people ask commonly is كَمْ لَبِثْتُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ عَدَدَ سِنِينَ Oh people, come here. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? This is what the verse is saying. Yani, the, the language, it's a rhetorical language. Oh people, are you thinking what I'm thinking like that in that manner? How long, how many years do you think we actually stayed on earth? Can anyone count the years? As though the person is saying, I don't feel like it was a lot. Let me ask the people. Allah says the people give a reply. Everyone gives a reply to others. They will say, Wallahi, we don't feel except that as if we lived for a day or part of a day. Let's ask those who have a better ability of calculating. That's what people say on the Day of Judgment. Let's ask those who are better in calculating. So they go and we ask them. And the Aaddin, the better calculators say, إِلَّا بِثْتُمْ إِلَّا يَوْمْ Wallahi, your whole life was probably not only more than a day. Who, is, who, who are they addressing? One life or two lives? Me or you? No. Are they talking about that 60, 70 or 100 years? No. He's talking about from the beginning of humanity to the end of time. This whole world from the beginning of the jinn and the humans to the end of the jinn and the humans will be felt on the day of judgment as if it was a day or part of a day. And that is when the people begin to regret and say, this is what I complained about. A day or part of a day. This is which I have wasted. A day or a part of a day. This temporary time is why I was worried. I was complaining how many prayers I have to pray. This was the time which I gathered and hoarded and built up all my wealth and my money. And I forgot about sadaqah and zakat and the rights of others for a day or part of a day. You know, this is the, the whole universe. What about my 60 or 70 or 100 years of my life? It is a speck inside of a speck. For a speck, I neglected my salah. For a speck, I oppressed my family. I oppressed 
people of other nationality to me. I oppressed my worker. I oppressed my relative. For a speck of a speck of a time, I complained about a sickness I had and, and I, I blamed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for my suffering. For a speck of a speck of a time, Allahu Akbar, I wasted my time and sold my hereafter for this world. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله